CEO here. And today, I'll be going over everything you need to know about Festival. There's a lot to unpack with this event, so let's get right into the video. First, when you load into the game on Festival, you will immediately notice confetti falling from the sky and Pave, the extravagant peacock, dancing in the plaza. Pave will be on your island starting at 5 a.m. on February 15th for both hemispheres and will not leave until 5 a.m. the next day. If you are not wearing Festival clothes when you talk to Pave, he will yell at you and demand you change. The Festival headdress, costume, and dress can be purchased in your Able shop between February 1st and February 15th. On February 15th, your Able shop will be selling at least one type of the Festival clothing. Once you are in your festival clothes and talk to Pave, he will give you the rainbow feather DIY. This will be important for later, so hang on to it. Pave will also ask for feathers. If you give Pave three feathers of the same color, he will give you a random festival item of the same color. If you give one rainbow feather, Pave will give you a random festival item that is rainbow. The rainbow variation of Pave's rewards is exclusive to festival. Blue, red, green, purple, and rainbow feathers will be floating around your island in the air throughout the day. To catch them, all you need is a net. Unlike cherry blossoms, snowflakes, and maple leaves, the floating feathers do not despawn if you walk or run into them, or if you attempt to catch them and miss. The feather will simply blow in the wind, leaving you with infinite chances to catch it. This is great since you only have one day to catch all the feathers you want. When you talk to your villagers the second time during the event, they will offer to trade some of their feathers for your feathers. The color they offer up seems to be random, but they always trade you the same amount of feathers that you offer. For example, if you give them two feathers, they will trade two of their own feathers. If you want to trade one, two, or three feathers, you will need to group them accordingly in your pockets before entering a trade with a villager. Once you have your feathers, return back to Pave in the plaza to collect your prizes. If you give Pave three feathers of the same color, excluding the rainbow feathers, you will get a random festival item that matches the color of the feathers. If you give Pave one rainbow feather, he will give you a random festival item in the rainbow variation. After you give Pave nine rainbow feathers, he will then ask for three rainbow feathers. Once you give those to him, he will give you the exclusive festival float. Unlike the rest of the festival items, you can only get the float on festival, so be sure to snag this item while you can. If you don't like the colors of the festival items you have, or you want more rainbow items, you can customize them. In order to customize, you will need rainbow feathers. The rainbow feather DIY from earlier allows you to make additional rainbow feathers since they are the rarest feather to find floating around your island. The rainbow feather requires one of each feather color in order to craft. So be sure to collect lots of blue, red, purple, and green feathers if you plan on crafting lots of rainbow feathers for customizing festival items. If you are ever in need of a certain color of feather and can't seem to find any floating around your island, you always have the option to trade with your villagers for the color you need. Once you have your rainbow feathers, you can customize any of the festival items like any other customizable item. All you have to do is go to a DIY table and select the customize option. From there, you can select the color of the item you want, even the rainbow color. Some items only need one rainbow feather in order to customize, while some require two. So I recommend catching as many feathers in all colors so you are able to craft as many rainbow feathers as you need. There is a secret trick you can use to see if you have enough rainbow feathers in your pockets for customizing. When you go to customize and you are about to select an item from your pockets, a small gray feather will appear on items that require more rainbow feathers to customize than you have in your pockets. Items without the gray feather signify you do have enough rainbow feathers to customize it. Now you can have any color of the festival items that you want. I love this feature since some colors of the items don't really fit my island theme, but now I can easily change the color of any festival item. I have also noticed that the color of festival items sold in your nook's cranny depends on your airport color. Green airports have green festival items, blue airports have red festival items, yellow airports have blue festival items, and orange airports have purple festival items. It was annoying that the items were color locked to your airport, but with the rainbow feathers, you can have any color of festival items that you want. Even though Festival only takes place on February 15th, you can always time travel back to that date if you miss the event or you just want to collect some more feathers. Time traveling is perfectly safe and will not corrupt your save file. 
If you don't know how to time travel, I already have made a video how to do so and a card will pop up now that will take you to that video and I will link it in the description down below. And that's everything you need to know about Festival. Let me know which part of Festival is your favorite in the comments down below. My favorite part is the rainbow Festival items hands down. They go so well with my tropical ravecore theme and I can't wait to collect more feathers so I can get more rainbow items. I also wanted to say a huge thank you to all of my YouTube subscribers. We recently reached 15,000 sub club members and 1 million views on this channel. I was also accepted as a Twitch partner this past week. I could have not achieved all of this without all of your support, so thank you so much. If you want to check out my Twitch channel, where I stream Animal Crossing New Horizons and hold lots of events such as free cataloging, viewer island visits, and villager hunting, the link is in the description down below. I would love to see you all in a live stream and chat with you sometime. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.